Next this morning, an animated film about one of the most important women in Sikh history is out in cinemas now. It's called Supreme Motherhood and its assistant director is Bhagwan Kaur from Leicester. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. Uh, hi. Lovely to talk to you this morning. So tell me about the film. Um, so it's about a... It's a, based on a true story about a lady called Martha Sahib Gaur and she ruled in Delhi um, in... 17th to 18th century India, but nobody um, really knew who she was. And we think it's important to share her story because she played a very important part in Indian history and especially in Sikh history. Why is she so important? <clears throat> she was the wife of the 10th Sikh Guru, Guru Gobind Singh Ji. And <clears throat> I think in India at that time, there was so much oppression, so much tyranny. It was honestly such a dangerous time for anyone, but especially for women and children. And um, Guru Gobind Singh Ji left her with a very um, huge role as being the mother of the Khalsa. So the, the Khalsa is basically, you can consider as all Sikhs. They can, they can come under that label of being the Khalsa. So Sikhs have this spiritual father who's Guru Gobind Singh Ji and a spiritual mother who's Mother Sahib Gorji. And as that female figure in that time in India, she was such an important role model. She inspired so many women and girls. She um, stood up for um, equality and justice, and she um, really just smashed it, I think, in that time. <laughs> I mean, how groundbreaking was she, really? She did, she did lots of, um, she did loads of, we could say, in today's terms, charity work. Like, she used to um, coordinate large collections of funds and donations, which she would direct to poor villages and to poor communities, for example, helping to um, build wells where there was no access to water, helping to distribute food where people were hungry. And <clears throat> on top of that, the Khalsa was a very, um, we can say a very um, military unit, and they were very well trained in martial arts and in um, protecting the weak. I think that was the Khalsa's um, defining quality. So she would send her Khalsa army wherever there was oppression and wherever people needed to be saved. So what do you think that modern day girls and women can take from her story? Although we're very, um, I think we're very lucky here in the West that at the moment, we've got a very strong women's empowerment movement and a very strong push for um, gender equality, which is wonderful. But I think as a culture, perhaps um, Indians and Indian mindset is maybe not quite there yet or not quite up to the standard that we might have in the West. So I think for all Indians, regardless whether they're living in India or living abroad here in the UK or anywhere in the world, we might still have a little bit of those old fashioned um, thoughts in our heads or that kind of old fashioned uh, thinking that our parents and grandparents might have grown up with, that perhaps girls may not be equal or girls may not have that much importance as compared to boys. And so movies like this, they're always important in every culture, in every way, because I think you can never celebrate women enough. There's been so much um, oppression in the past that we just have to keep kind of pushing past that and teaching ourselves and teaching our girls and women again and again that what we are is brilliant and fantastic and nobody can kind of take that away from us. How did you get involved in this film, Bhagwand? <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, I have a um, passion for writing. So I got involved in the screenplay. I helped to write the screenplay in, I think, 2018. I started getting involved. So it's been a good four years I've been working on this movie. And after helping with the screenplay, because I knew the movie so well, I ended up kind of just naturally going into the role of assistant director because I knew every part of the script and what was going to happen. And obviously movies are quite a, um, a, quite a secret 
affair at that time when you're making it you can't kind of share too much with everyone because you want it to be a surprise so I sort of just fit into that role and the wonderful thing about the movie is that we're all volunteers so I'm actually a teacher um, and obviously a writer in my spare time but I just loved the movie so much I loved the concept I loved the teachings behind it that I got involved on a, a voluntary basis to um, become the assistant director and I, I helped with every single stage of production and it was wonderful. And have you got a taste for it now? Do you think you'd quite like to do a few more films? Absolutely, yeah. We've got loads of projects lined up. Our production company, Nihal 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 Productions, we're going to do loads more projects. Um, the second one will be about Baba Deep Singh Ji, who was a very famous and extremely respected Sikh, uh, Sikh warrior. So we do kind of have um, I say, I suppose a niche of focusing on Sikh history because that's something that's not being portrayed very much at the moment and we've got a passion to show that to the world. So the film was released, I think, was it, was it on Vaisakhi Day? How's the... It was, yeah, on 14th of April, yeah. Oh, that must have been a special day to, to release this as well. How was the reaction to it? It was fantastic. We've got loads of amazing reviews and sound bites and on social media, just people loving the movie. So many people saying we just had no idea who she was and so many girls and women and families feeling so inspired that, wow, this is somebody who we want to look up to and someone who we respect and admire. So we're really happy with the response. And what about locally? Is there? Do you know where we can see it in Leicester? Yes, it's on at the Odeon Lux in Freeman's Park and it's on at Piccadilly Cinema on Green Lane Road. So you can um, pop down to either of those and see for yourselves. Well, brilliant. Thank you, Bhagwan. Thanks for your time. Thanks for coming to tell us about it. And it sounds fantastic. So keep in touch about your future projects, won't you? Oh, thank you very much. Thank you for having me. No problem. Take care. Bye.